Hi, I'm Christina Shizaki with Hyper 7, a global lifestyle show to expand your world. I'm here with Billy King, lead singer of Drunken Balordi. Drunken Balordi is an up and coming gypsy punk band. We started off as gypsy punk, but we're actually world punk next. We mix a lot of reggae and the uh, dance hall, like the old 80s style. Well, our next album is going to be like that, so anyway. Okay, so with Brixton being um, a combination with some world cultures now that you're yeah. a world gypsy punk band, <laughs> gypsy punk, uh, how would you say you're to music? When did you begin? Um, I was in lots of bands, punk bands, just singing and stuff, and then they came back to London, and I was just fashion oriented and just what's in today, gone tomorrow, and everyone tried to be like libertines or down roses and what you have oasis. But in Italy, I, I noticed there was a big atmosphere for a party, and just kind of just basically bands playing, entertain the crowd, move the crowd, and I missed that. Then I saw the band Gogo Bdello play, and I said, well, hey, I can do this as well. It's very folk oriented, it's old, it's been remixed or been regenerated, recycled. And um, so basically that's where we started, so it was kind of gypsy punk, we kind of took it from Gogol, but we're actually completely different. You can hear we're more punk than exactly like a punk background. We just try to work the crowd, make people dance, and that's why it's going so well. Oh, I'm definitely going inside there, seeing you guys perform. Obviously you have some great stage presence, and also the crowd gets pretty rowdy. How do you deal with that? Um. When how do I deal with it? Well, the, when we, the more the crowd gets worked up, the more we work up. Yeah, we. So, since um, Hyper 7 <laughs> is a global lifestyle show, yeah. what I'm doing right now is just trying to show people a different side of London. Um, just, you know, if, let's say, we're, we're going to have viewers in Greece, in Egypt, how would you get them to come over here to London? Why should they come see your band? Why should they come down to Brixton? Brixton's full of really good music and mm -hmm. live venues and gigs for punk, all, all kind of gen genres, you know? And um, that's why I moved there, because it's, it's actually, Brixton is very kind of much people who really want to party. Okay. Um, like a couple of venues like Hoot Nannies, which is a fantastic venue for reggae, and the specials have, guys from the specials have played there. You've got um, The Prince, show on really good punk nights, Friday nights, nice. but all kinds of world music. It's, it's just, it's, and it's cheap, it's not, it's not expensive as city centre, and it's, it's good. Yeah, and also... So come to, come to Brixton, yeah? <laughs> There you have it, come to Brixton, and also, um, since obviously it's late at night over here and the pub's still open. Shall we get a drink? <laughs> <laughs> Sounds good, it's cold over here. Well anyways, I was drunk in Bulordi, and this concludes the interview. <gasps>